Hey, today we have a hard drive here that came out of a laptop, and I'm going to try and see if I can get the data off of it, because that's what we need to try and save. Let's see if we can do that. Here we go. All right, how are you doing today? This is Tom with Tom's Tech Show, and every once in a while you have laptops that die, have problems, and it may not necessarily be the hard drive that goes out, um, but hoping we can save it. Um, we can pull the hard drive out. Actually, my wife pulled the hard drive out of a laptop and uh, bring it to me. <clears throat> so it, that's you know pretty easy to do. Take the back off of the laptop, get all the screws. Often there's a, a, a panel that's pretty quick and easy to open. And then it varies on different laptops, but she got the drive out quick and easy, brought it to me. Let's plug it in and see how this is gonna work out. Okay. So if we do this camera here, we have the hard drive here. Um, and then if you go to like Tiger Direct or Amazon or one of these different places, they'll have a little uh, uh, SATA to USB. So it's actually USB 3. If you can see here, the connector is blue. So we know it's USB 3. But this is the SATA hard drive connector. <coughs> and um, we need to plug this in to our drive. It's This still has the bracket on it, so I'm gonna see. Can't do it with the bracket on it, it's gonna be hitting on that. So let's take the bracket off, and often you'll have to take the bracket off just to be able to get it to uh, connect in there because there's a lot of limited space. So let's go to, I pull out my multi-tool. I got this toolkit at uh, like Fry's Electronics a little while ago, I think it was 10 bucks, so it's not, you know, these are cheap. I'm going to use my, here you can see there's different uh, screws, tips here. I'm going to use my PH1 that's here. There are some that are different, like these are uh, uh, PZ1s and PZ2s here. And they're a little bit pointier than these. These have a little bit flatter point on them. So, and that usually works better when I'm trying to take off hard drives. So I'm always, almost always using my, my PZ1 or my my uh, PH1, so get that here, and we'll just pull these screws off. Yeah, fits good and solid. You want to make sure that when you know you're you're turning it, that it's not slipping and slipping and slipping. That's sometimes what the PZ ones will do. They'll slip a little bit, and then you'll end up stripping that screw out, and you don't want to do that. So there's one screw. Let's take the other one off. Two screws, here we go. We'll just pull the whole thing off. Okay, here's three screws. That one's a little rough coming out. And four screws, there we go, that one's nice. Okay, all right, so now we're, now we're free of our bracket. Our bracket, which is basically two pieces of metal with plastic in between. Okay, free of the bracket. Okay, so now we should be able to take our SATA adapter and you can see the connector here is just straightforward get it to plug right in there make sure it's solidly in there uh, then we need power so this one comes with a power adapter I happen to have a plug right around the corner here a little power strip connected to my broadcasting table and then we can plug that in Right here, plugged in. Okay, so now our drive has power plugged in, and then we need to take our uh, SATA connector, USB connector here. You can see I've got a little USB 3 hub right here. We'll plug that in. And once I do that, uh, let's go to here and we'll minimize that. Okay, so here we have the drive opening up. So this drive is okay, so it, apparently we have data on it that we can get to. Okay, so if I can go into users, and of course Ray is the user that we want. Now we might not have a way to get into these folders, so what I need to do is go to properties, see if we can, and go to security, see if we can go, let's see, advanced, see if we can change the owner. I want to change the owner of this, so we click Click change, click uh, 
advanced, usually easier. I just click find now and that lists all the owners, especially on this uh, desktop. And I'm trying to change that to myself. See, it's gonna let me do that and replace owner on subcontainers. Yes, I wanna do that. And I wanna replace all child obstacles permissions. Not yet, I wanna replace the owner first. So if I click apply, it should, you don't have permission to read the contents of the directory. Do you wanna replace the director permissions with the permissions granting you full control? Yes, I wanna do that. So now it's gonna go through all of the folders that are in there and hopefully we can get back uh, control of it and be able to get the files and be able to copy those off. Now I think uh, they're buying a Chromebook, so if uh, they set up their Google account, then I can just copy all these files up to Google Drive and magically they will be there for them to access. So this may take a while, so we're going to take a small break here in this video and once it gets done then we'll come back okay we're done it says if you have just taken ownership of this object you'll need to close and reopen this object properties before you can view or change permissions <clears throat> okay so we'll do that say okay say okay i don't think i can go into it still nope we need to go properties security administrators has all access so let's edit this let's add Myself will go advanced, just find now to get all users. Say okay, okay. So I added myself. We're going to say full control and apply. And we're going to run through the same thing again, applying that to all the users in the folder. So we can take a little break again and we'll be back. Okay, now we've got that done. I've applied, I'm administrative all the folders down. Hit OK, hit OK, and we should be able to go into the folders, and now we can see all of this, and we can also do documents, everything. There's all the documents and stuff, so I'm going to make a new folder on my desktop. Call it uh, Ray. This is all Ray's documents. Oops, I typed incorrectly. Let's rename that to not have a cavalier there. Okay, there we go. I have lazy shift fingers. Many, many people have lazy shift fingers. Okay. All right, uh, I don't need those files or that file or those files so they can go away. Okay, so now I wanna probably copy desktop, documents, maybe downloads, music, pictures, all into this new folder. And looks like it's only a couple hundred megs, so that's only gonna take uh, not very much. So we are dealing with transferring data over USB 3. So it should be pretty quick. Oh, there's some of the games and stuff in the download, so that's gonna take a little bit longer time. Um, here we go. Some of the downloads, if we don't need them, I'm definitely gonna delete them in case they happen to be uh, junk that we don't need. And the new computer, like I said, they're getting a Chromebook, so that's gonna be not allow us to really install much of these uh, programs and it already is gonna have a word dot word editor, you know, document editor, presentation editor, spreadsheet program, all that stuff is already already part of the whole Google environment. So, and it's going to be much safer. We're not gonna get malware. We're not gonna get uh, any kind of spyware or anything other than Google spying, right? That's the only, <laughs> the only one that's gonna be spying at this point, okay. So about 30 seconds or so. I don't know if there was anything in the OneDrive folder, but we can copy that. Uh, and the other OneDrive, we can copy that. And we'll see, it doesn't look like it, there was anything in there because those tasks are done already. Uh, the Google Drive, we'll copy that. Uh, just continue, okay. There wasn't much there. We're gonna kind of skip the shortcuts, don't really need those. Okay, so all that is there. So now we have all these documents and let's go through the downloads and do we need any of this stuff? Some of these might be uh, bills or different things, so we're not gonna really open them right now in the video, but we do have you know, a bunch of documents. We've got uh, more documents here on the drive so it looks like we've successfully moved all that over um, there are were some uh, documents in the local admin drive so we're going to do the same process here 
for local admin and you can kind of go through the exact <clears throat> exact same thing getting this all the data off and then copying all the folders out <clears throat> so um, that should be pretty quick and easy to do in the same way but that's how you get your data off of a drive so now this drive it seems to be running fine so it's a uh, it's a 500 gig spinning drive so it's not an SSD so uh, you could actually add that maybe to um, another desktop computer or another laptop that is having a failing drive so this might able to be actually reused once I get it off and get it reformatted so um, there you go so that gets all that data off there that saves it stores it make sure you then from this point put it into a place that's going to be backed up somewhere on the internet make sure that's done like first write off so that you get a second copy of all of the data that you can then keep and then if this drive does fail or whatever you put it on fails you still have a backup of that all right well here we go that's getting your data off of a drive and uh, thanks for watching this one remember to like share and subscribe all the videos from your smaller creators to keep us all going and moving forward even though <clears throat> google and youtube uh, tend to ignore us <laughs> all right well thanks for watching this one take care yeah.